What's going on, guys? Welcome to part three of our sweet uh, Ravnica Allegiance Gilded Sealed League. So now we're going to spend 40 play points and open one more pack and see what we get. Uh, Sphinx of Foresight. Sphinx of Aaron Foresight. Okay. Clamor Shaman. Three mana, one, one. Whenever it attacks, target creature and punk controls can't block. That's actually not bad. You make it a 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two for three that makes a guy unable to block. Three mana, one, one that adds two. Mm, also not terrible. Light up the stage, three mana. Exile the top two cards of your library until end of your next turn. You may play those cards. And then we got another another final payment. It's just the card's portal. Exile a creature you control and return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control against first strike. So you're just blinking. Another Gruel Guild, Guild Gate. Another Titanic Brawl. Another Wrecking Beast. Okay. Not not terrible. Get this hair out of the way. Okay, so let's go back to our deck. Sphinx of Foresight just seems very good. Double blue could be problematic. We can take out another we can take out a mountain for another rule guild gate. God, that's so many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guild gates. Is that enough? Uh, we can close chat over here. That is a foil coral commando. So get your uh, get your excitement ready. Double blue could be difficult, but it also might not be. Also, we can just scry three if we open the game with it. That seems like it's a 4-4 flyer. All our other four drops seem very, very good. We can probably take out the Mammoth Spider, actually. We can probably replace that with the Sphinx. Or we can replace Chillbringer, which is a 3-3. But I kind of like... I actually kind of like this guy on the ground. Is this uncommon? No, that's a common. Okay. 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 Another Gross Spiral, which actually might be decent with all of the Guild Gates that we have in our deck. I don't think we want another Titanic Brawl just because uh, it is pretty... We might want another Final Payment. We do have a lot of 1-1s that we can make. It actually might be better than Titanic Brawl. Because we just don't have a lot of big creatures to fight with, but we do have a lot of creatures that, like, doing stuff. What does that mean? I don't know. I kind of do like the other Gross Spasm as well. Hmm. I think this is actually good like this. We have a lot of removal, we have a lot of things, but I mean, like, you're going to expect most of the decks that have eight packs of cards in them to be decent. I do like Dovin's Acuity and I like Growth Spiral. I don't know if that is worth anything. This guy seems a little too fragile as a 1-1. But we do have a lot of, like, it's like whenever you play an instant, right? Yeah, we have a lot of instants, but I don't want to play them during my main phase, so I'm actually kind of off this. Gross Spiral just replaces itself and lets you put another Guild Gate into play, which could put you way ahead. It might be better than, like, Scorch Mark, actually. Let's try it like this. Let's see if this is any good.
what does the Sphinx do on upkeep? Um, it lets you scry one. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Let's play first. Double growth spasm with no green source. That's really kind of awkward. This is weird because this is the first time we've had this kind of luck with our mana base. We'll keep this. Try to hit a green. Any green gives us like every color we need, right? So yikes for me, dog. Because block each yeah, sure. Alright, we never never didn't have it. So next time we can go open the gates, play gateway, plaza, and then we're just a little far behind. Wow, the neg two neg two seems insane here. Alright, so next turn we can play either this or this, and if we hit a land we can play this guy, which should catch us up a little bit. My eyes aren't feeling dry, but I want to make sure that I'm not like just relying on feeling, so I am going to... take four yep okay so basically we're bringing in the neg two neg two to all creatures and they get exiled <sighs> i'm about to bust We also need a second black for that card, so we'll probably bling in, bling in, bring in a swamp here. Yep, I figured they'd have something. Yep, I don't think we can actually do anything here, so. One, two, we can do this, and we can final payment, and then we're still dead. Yep, that was not the best draw. So we're bringing Cry of the Carnarium. We're definitely going to take out... Take out a Plains and we'll add a Swamp. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. Five Black Sources does not seem like enough. But we do have Open the Gates. Uh... It's not great, but like if we if we hit it, we hit. Like if we hit it, we're really far ahead. Is there any other thing that like deals? Nah. Oh, uh, the sand seems great. Well, that's going to be good eventually. So next time we can play this guy. Well, that's obnoxious.
gonna mortify this guy? Wow, that's aggressive. Yeah, that was a pretty good draw. Because that lets us play Gate Colossus next turn. Play Gate, play Gate Colossus. I'm driving back from Whole Foods while my girlfriend is driving. Well, that's good. How much do you guys spend? What was your grocery uh, your grocery expenses? Oh, can we just draw the uh, neg, neg 2, neg 2 to everything? One time. Just one time. That's not it, but... Gate Boy is still pretty good. If we hit an untapped land, we can go hero into prime speaker and make a 1-1, one, one, which is nice. Okay, that's not an answer. Push it to the limit. Actually, we can play Chillbringer here. Tap down the Vigilant guy with the, with the Afterworld. I like that better. Tap down this dude. Also, being able to give this dude plus four, plus two, and trample is no joke. Oh, do they double block and play three damage to this guy? Oh, it can't be blocked by more than one dude. Oh, so now they're like, oh, never mind then. Okay, so I think that was their... They probably have deal three damage to a tap creature in hand. That's good to know. Plus one, plus one, sure. I mean, do we just take six here, and if they block, we get to plus four, plus a million this guy? I think that's probably game, right? Short of them, like, having second Mortify. Play this guy first so we can get the, the perk off of this. Yeah, man, like 8-8 eight, eight for 4 mana is pretty good. Nope, that's not how that works. Oh, it's creatures with power 2 or less, sure. So now you have to kill this guy. But then you're still losing these guys, and I have a bunch of dudes on board, so. Oh, we're in damage, so they're just dead. That was fascinating. Why would they block with both? It doesn't have trample, right? Like, it doesn't have natural trample. Weird. I cast Colossus on the Colossus. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't even catch that. Good call, good call. Let's bring one Scorch, scorch Mark in for one of... Them. Actually, final payment's a little bit uh, aggressive here.
Kitty Cat update? Kitty Cat is still uh, just living his best life in there. Oh, this hand is definitely a keeper. They went to five? I'm okay with it. We can actually play a guild gate next turn and then open the guild gates for something uh, like a forest so that we can just play things naturally from there on out. So we have blue. So we have every basic, right? We also have double black, which is super nice. I think we want a blue or a, or a green so that we can cast spell Spellbreaker next turn. We do have a double blue card. We're probably just going to get the island here. And then we can cast <clears throat> either Spellbreaker or we can cast uh, Aeromunculus. And this gives... Oh, we actually have... Oh, I didn't realize we had this in hand. That's pretty insane. Yeah, so we're probably going to play 4-4. Four, four. Um, they'll mortify it, I guess. Actually, let's play Aeromunculus. We have multiples of them. I don't want to trade with this guy, though. Green, red, black. They also have two cards in hand, so I think if we can actually exile this whole board, we're in pretty insane shape. What about love? Don't you want someone to care about you? That's a... Yep. Never don't have it. All three games. Seems good. So we're going to take some beats here. Play this. Play Aeromunculus. And next turn we can uh, Cry of the Carnarium. Hopefully they'll just play a, a dude. Uh, well, that's not a dude that we want to have on board, uh, unfortunately. <sighs> so we can deal at six next turn? I wish we had a land here, but... Yikes. Yeah, I'm actually think we're fine here. So we're going to do this. And we're going to cast Collision on you. And then we're going to go sack a creature, kill you. And then we take one here, and then we can actually cry of the Carnarium and just wipe their board. Wow, two of those, huh? That one's it's pretty good. It's okay, we got it. We got it under control.
So we're just going to go one, two, three, keep up Scorch Mark here. And now we're going to start fighting. <coughs> Kitty Cat is right. Yeah, Kitty Cat is correct. I think we could safely take three here. I'd much rather kill this because they can pump this twice, make this a three three with lifelink, which is a bigger threat than the three one. I mean, this could be wrong, but it, it feels like we can also just chump block this guy forever with the obligation, the obligation boy. Could have also killed this. That's a rough draw. It's not terrible, but like I'd rather have have the three the two three drops in hand when we hit that. Cause now we have all this like three extra mana, nothing to do with it. That's fine. Fascinating. <clears throat> so we only have one blue and one green, unfortunately. Guess we'll pass. Yep, seems fine. This is a good old-fashioned stalemate we got going on here. <coughs> I can just play that. We have a lot of things to do here that makes our uh we can make this guy three four, we can make this guy four five, and they have one card in hand, so I'm pretty much okay with either happening. Definitely prioritizing the six mana guy, because I'd just rather use six mana than four mana here. Yep, that's actually good in the long run. It's not great right right now, but Could have also done an hour turn attack for four, but <clears throat> where's all our cards? Like this, I feel like we've drawn very few actual cards. All right, let's go green, blue, growth spiral. Don't be another land. You were another land. <clears throat> All right, well, this is a lot of lands. <laughs> we have 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 out of 16 lands, 7 lands in our 19 cards. Yeah, this is easy. Oh, you're going to... I don't... I see. Well, then. Oh, yeah, that's a card, all right. <clears throat> Must be nice.
Well, we have to block two of these. What can we draw that's any good? <laughs> that's actually very good if they're uh, if they don't have this, because now we can block here, and then we just lose to both of these. Why don't you have flying? I don't understand. Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events for our very first uh, round <clears throat> of stage three. Yep. Guess we're not drawing a card. All right, sounds good. We might actually want Scorch Mark instead of this. Actually, final payment's really expensive. Let's just bring, let's keep the Gross Spasms in. I like the Gross Spasms, but. Two final payments seems really expensive in terms of like cost. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. It depends on the matchup, I think. Like that was probably the most aggressive matchup we played against. I don't think this deck wants two final payments. We don't have enough afterlife. I really like That's my impression of you, Josh. I hope you liked it. We'll keep this hand. <clears throat> Probably going to lead off with these two. It lets us play this. It also lets us play either Gross Spasm or open the gates if we draw either. And we did. Whoa, get wrecked. <laughs> Oh, good times. I did get him. He'll never be back. When did Josh VS Skype in? <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. So next time we get to a Gross Spasm, we put two Guild Gates into play, and then we just get to ramp into Seraph. I know you love me and mine. I do. I totally do. You're one of my favorites. I'm sorry if I ever made you doubt, but I don't think I did. Triggered. That's fine. I'm just going to go this guy. EOT, Gross Spasm. Spiral, Gross Spiral. Gross Spasm was an Eldrazi card. We're going to draw Gateway Plaza. We did not. We drew a Spellbreaker. Land? Really? No land? You don't give me land there? That's rude. Oh god, don't be a counter spell that puts a counter on a dude. Oh god, it's going to be... Oh god, I'm going to vomit. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Come on.
Yep, I think we're pretty much dead here. I mean, we can make this guy a 4-4. Four, four. And then they just pump this, so this is a 5-5, five, five, and then they attack for 9 in the air. Does not seem great. Oh, we actually only have one green, so we can't even cast this guy now. Yeah, like, we're way behind in this game. I don't know what's going on. Something just happened in this, uh... In this stage three, and our deck got significantly worse. I'm not sure. Maybe we just got too greedy. Take out Scorch Mark. This is actually an enchantment. I didn't even realize this was an enchantment. It's actually pretty good. Neg 4, Neg 0 f at, f at flash speed? Sure. I probably would have been playing that <clears throat> uh, sooner had I known. Yeah, I'll keep this. If we can hit land drops, we're good. Okay, they mold to four and we can win the game. <clears throat> Seems good. Everybody's doing well. Yeah, we can bring in a Mammoth Spider. I actually like that. Uh, what are we taking out, though? <clears throat> I think the deck looks good. We can take out one Gross Spiral, I guess. Let's actually take a screenshot of this one as well, because I want to know what I can get with my Vanilar, Vanifer. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. So we want to get a black source <clears throat> with our Open the Gates. Using those sick, force them to mull the concession strats. Yeah, it's, it's a tough life, but somebody's got to do it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We have a white, so we'll probably get Rakdos because it gives us double red. Oh. Whenever one or more counters are put on Growth Chamber Guardian, you may search your library for an, a card named Growth Chamber Guardian, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. I'm going to assume you only have one of those. So our Red Guild Gates, we have Rakdos Guild Gate and Gruel. We're definitely going to lean toward Rakdos. <clears throat> Oh, like this guy, you mean? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Hmm. Oh, they didn't do it. <clears throat> Seems good. And let's put a counter on this guy, as you do. What is this? Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature, draw a card. Yeah, that's, that's something, all right. <clears throat> so 
we can just play this guy and Rakdos, and then let's just play this next turn. I didn't want to attack here because like they have the initiative right now. So if they attack into us and we block, they pump. And they get to eat a guy. If they attack with this guy, we'll probably block because it's a trade at least. Cyborg Yui, have a good night, buddy. Sure, that's actually great. That does nothing this turn. Being able to keep up uh, Grotesque Demise is pretty nuts because they can just pump one of their guys and then we can Grotesque Demise. Which means we can play this now, or we can just play Vanifer. What does that let us get, though? So if we sack either of our three drops, we can get Frenzied Erring, Seraph, Sphinx of Foresight, Sunder Shaman, which is pretty good against this. I do like just keeping this up, though. I'm not sure we actually need to at this point, though. Yeah, we'll just do this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to pass here. See what happens. Oh, I actually don't know if I'm going to go to a, a paper pre-release this weekend. I don't know if I have a reason to. Like, there's just so much magic online, like, between Magic Arena and Magic and actual Magic Online. That it's like, I could just stay home and play that. Yep, that's a good one. But I don't care about it so much. Right now, anyway. I'm actually going to get rid of this because I really don't want them to... Uh, I, I don't want to like keep it in my hand. I have to keep a million mana up for it. They're probably going to counter this. It's fine. We get to play Prime Speaker next turn. They're trying to figure out who they're putting the counter on. Probably rubble. Oh, all right. Fascinating. A real rags to riches never don't have it tale is what that was. We lost the first round, right? Yeah, this is rough. We were 5-1, and then we're now we're 5-2. We're about to be 5-3. Yep. I like that if we draw the Colossus, it costs three mana. So we can play Prime Speaker and Colossus next turn if that's a thing we have. Okay, they don't have another one. Gross Spasm. 
sure. That was very interesting. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. I kind of just want Prime Speaker, but like... <clears throat> Next time we can Prime Speaker and pump this guy, which I think is probably better. All right, I'll play Planes. Right, like this is the only guy that can't get its own counters, and once you have a counter on it, you can't adapt them, so that was kind of a weird choice. Like I would have just put it on the this guy. But uh okay. I mean, whatever. We'll see what happens. I'm not super familiar with all the tricks in the format, so I can't, like, play around everything. So. Unless you have, like, all your creatures get plus two, plus two. I'm sorry, what did this do? Plus one, plus one, or return a creature to its owner's hand. Wow, that's fucking amazing. Holy Jesus. So you got to pump this guy to kill my other guy, and you got to bounce this guy. Yep, that's pretty insane. Ugh. <sighs> Obnoxious. Obnoxiously infuriating. Yeah, and this guy just becomes a 7-7 seven, seven, gives both of these guys trample. That's cool. That's a, that's a totally reasonable card. And of course, all of your cards have drawn you other cards, so that's actually just great. Just having a good time. Why wouldn't you attack with these? As, why wouldn't this flies? Why wouldn't you attack with the flyer as well? Okay, that's weird. Sure. Draw a card. Every card draws you a card. Seems good. Completely reasonable limited card. Yep. Even if we kill this, we take three. We block here. We take two more. I mean, we're not dead, I guess, but... <laughs> nice pull on the man, but yeah, I mean, I guess. It's a 2-4. It does nothing. <laughs> it's like a blank. I mean, I'd rather have this where every card I, I play draws me another card. Oh, this card is worth like 17 tickets. Holy shit. I had no idea this card was worth anything. Wow. And bottom. Nope, guess we're going to three. Maybe you just have three lands in hand. There's one of them. Nope, I guess not. So we have to draw something that we can play as long with this. Yep, that's something, I guess. Okay, so we can either get a three drop or a six drop. We don't have a six drop, so let's try to get a three drop that's actually worth something. We can get... Deputy of Detention and get rid of both of these guys? Does 
This guy blocks here. I have to trade with a deputy at that point, which is pretty awkward, though. Yeah, it taps both of these. So now we just, yeah, we just have to pass, I guess. I hope they don't have anything. I don't know. Well, we're definitely selling that Vanna for 100%. Go to one, and you probably have a pump spell. No, we're still alive. Okay, well, <clears throat> and not dead. I guess we can just pay regular mana, right? One, one, two, three. This is actually surprising that we're not dead. I wish we still had Grasping Thrill. I could use two life here. Uh, sure, Scry 2. You draw, draw a card and Scry 2. You can put these in the... Make sure you draw the exact card you want, which is very nice. Oh, you did not do that. Okay. Why didn't you sack here to get Deputy? Because that is not how Birthing Pod works. Activate this only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Because that would be utterly insane if you could just do it whenever you wanted to. Yep, that's what we're waiting for. Alright, that's the end. <laughs> we tried. All we had to do was draw one creature the same speed they did. Never gonna happen. Alright, good times. But it was not good times, it was bad times. gonna get a plaza here and we'll play Azoria's Guild Gate in case we draw any blue green card could have played Gruel Guild Gate in case we draw a red green card but infinite guild gates guild gates for days it's a lot of guild gates guys it's like the most guild gates you could ever have I was hoping they'd give it flying so that we could kill it. We probably should have just final payment of this because... Oh, crying out loud. Well, I'm definitely going to kill one of these guys with a final payment. Jesus. Yikes. But they're going to deal us four anyway next turn, so... Yeah. 
We can pretty much cast anything here. We just have to draw things that are not friggin' guild gates. We only have 16 lands in the deck. The, the odds of us hitting this many lands is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to 4? Yeah, twice as many. Literally twice as many lands as spells. Please leave. Alright, that would have been nine lands. Don't play that 6-5 guy. Come on. Come on, don't do it. 2-2 two, two with Riot and Menace. Sure. Amazing. Actually amazing. Ten lands, four spells. All right, I guess we just weren't, weren't meant to win a, win a match in this in this last uh, this last section, which is fine. Yeah, it's, that's magic for you. I guess we're just gonna take seven here and go to eleven and have literally zero things that can ever deal with either of these cards. I'm I'm liking this less and less as it's, as it's stuck in my hand. So we can block here and go to like one. So I guess we're not dead unless they play another Riot creature or they have a way to get rid of this or pump one of these guys. Other than that, though, I don't know how we lose. Cool. Good to know. Yep, this should probably be in here. This too. Let's just bring in all these with like solid removal spells. I'm gonna take this out. I don't think this is great. The pump is nice, but like we have 16 creatures. Like, where are all the creatures in these matches? I don't understand like how we're drawing. We like literally saw 10 lands and four spells. Like, okay. I'd love to blame it on the deck and be like, well, this is awkward because we, you know, have a mana base that's super all over the place. But uh, that's not really the case. We could have cast anything we've drawn. We just didn't draw anything. So what are you going to do? You guys know what time it is. I drop time. I think we're going because I can't zoom in on things. Cool. I will play first. Okay. I'll keep it again. We got things to do. We have three gates. So this guy costs five. I might just play Gateway Plaza here, but I'm kind of tempted to...
I'm kind of tempted to just play this to get one of the gates out of our deck. Let's just play Plaza here. Okay, we're doing it. We're living the dream. So this guy. Let's get the other gateway plaza and we'll just play that right now. Four two. Three three. Can't be blocked by creature tokens. Sure. Three three for three is good. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to play this. I mean, we're probably going to just final payment this guy unless they play something bigger pre-combat. So they're both 3-3s. Three oh, no. No, no, they're not. All right, yeah, we're just going to... White and black... So this is nice because we can go, nope, we're going to be one shy. Dang it. I guess we can just play Thrall this turn, gain the two life. Eh, it's just probably better to have this guy on board, right? <laughs> we can't block it because it's Menace, but I mean, it's an 8-8, eight, eight, so. The problem is it keeps us back. If they're able to deal with this somehow, it just definitely leaves us next turn with significantly less things to do. Alright, you can't cast non-creature spells. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type. So it's like a 5-5 five, five that... I'm actually going to block here. This does not seem like a profitable attack for us. The question is if they play like the pump spell that like gives all their guys plus like they distribute three counters like it's pretty bad for us. I guess it's this I guess this God, I just want to get rid of this guy right now though. Whatever. We can wait. I think we can wait. So if we play if we if this guy dies in combat, we can play this next turn to get it back. They can't cast non-creature spells. That is interesting. That is a good that is a good point. All right. Well. I mean, they also have like 10,000 mana, so. Sure, 3-4. 
I would really like to draw, like, we'll look at this again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty okay. Yeah, I don't like this because, like, if we attack with the 80, they can just block with 5544, four, and it's pretty bad. Like, we can kill the 5-5. Five, five. Baby shark. Baby shark. We're also at 15, which is, I think, pretty healthy when they can't cast non-creature spells. I feel like there's got to be a point where they just have to suicide this into something of ours. I think it might be right now. I don't understand this, but all right. Is there a creature they could cast that, like, blows us out here? Oh, that the literally the literal ability on the card, sure. I mean, it's still we still trade, right? So, like, all right. I guess they could deal this damage after the fact. They're just gonna pump this guy again. I mean, there's no like flash creature, I don't think. Did they just try to cast the spell and they realize they can't? A hold up here. We pump this guy. He's going to be a 7 4. We're going to take two. Okay. Resolves. Okay. Everybody's dead. Now you have three mana, not six, which is good for us. We're at 13, now we're definitely in a position where we can just do alpha here, because I don't care about this guy. What does this do? Target creature can kill the plus two. Sure, it just, it just fought the thrall. I mean, this is a two-turn clock, so... T -t today, Junior. Today, Junior. A classic. Yep. So now you have to block, or else you did. All right. It's a good trade. they do it in response to this oh no <laughs> well that's unfortunate 
Wow, that's sad. We could have kept the guy alive with this, but like I, we didn't know what they had, so. Remember to attack another, another creature gets it. Okay, sure. That's a good one. Where X is Grillby. If, if, if its power is negative one, the other creature gets... Oh, I guess we just won the game. All right. Okay, so they have a bunch of things that are all very scary. Mammoth spider seems nice. Three six also seems pretty decent. It's interesting because all of our creatures are very. They they seem decent. Oh, we also bring we yeah actually. We brought in Bring to the Trial and Slime Bond, both of which are very good. I might actually be tempted to bring in the 2-5 instead of the Mammoth Spider because it does trigger our hero of the of Precinct 1, which is pretty good. I can also see bringing in Carnage just because it kills the, um, like, they have a lot of, there's, it feels like there's a lot of opportunity to, like, get rid of their, like, two really big creatures from their hand. I'll take out one arrow monculus for it. Uh, I don't hate this hand. Blue source is great, but we still have spellbreaker on three. If we got any blue, any black, or any white source, I think this is an okay hand. No play, no play, no play, no play. Just give me a chance. Dang it. The most basic of two twos. Well, off curve, unfortunately. Yeah, we're still going to be playing for Spellbreaker on three as a 4-4. Four, four. Huh. That's pretty brutal. Uh, let's get a counter. We are not the riot deck here, that's for sure. Next thing we can play Plaza and Scorch Mark, which is not terrible. Which does let us play this, or any land lets us play these. Wow, really? Same as our last opponent, huh? All right, seems good. Well, let's try to be a little more aggressive, I guess. Because next time we can slime bond. Great. Hmm. That's fascinating. Unfortunately, we have one blue source, so we're just back in the situation. Like, we just have no mana to cast any of these things. I 
mean, this gets rid of two of their their three cards, so they get to keep one card. Sure. Yep, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Or a 3-3 three, three with haste. Sure. Eh, just a 4-4. Four, four. So we can actually slime bond this thing. Two one draws you another card. Wow, this is just ridiculous. This card is s pretty stupid. Like both of these are pretty insane. Um, like surprise, this is uncommon actually because so we can attack. They can block. It's pretty rough. We do get to slime bond it, but then we can't do anything else really. I guess we can play. Nope, still only have one blue source. So. We could play 2 5. What does this guy do? Uh, gain control of target creature with power 3 or less until end of turn. Okay, so you're just basically an act of treason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. <laughs> If we can survive this turn, we have Grasping Thrall, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to put three counters distributed any way they choose at some point. Yeah, that's fine. So we can slime bond and bring to trial here. That seems good. Like, this is lethal, so they have to block both of these guys. Or at least one of them. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems pretty good. There are five now, so both of these are lethal with the Grasping Thrall. Yep, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's exactly. Wow, this is you're good at this game. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Oh, 3 in the final bracket. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Pretty disappointing. But uh, what can you do when all your creatures get riot twice and you're drawing a card every single time you play a guy i guess they, they probably drew like one two three they probably drew five cards off of this so you know what can you do we tried thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe and check me out on twitch patreon links are in the description below along with me on east.com slash frank lapore and you get 15 percent off along with free shipping and free returns i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching